Okay. The group is delighted to have found an overturned Caldwell's ca caught cod constructors truck with its hot and ready system still functioning. Inside is a single 212 pound cod. Whoa! Fresh, baked, ready to stink up the joint. The group takes what they figure they can eat before the fish meat spoils on the road. How are we getting so much food? This is insane to me. 92 food? This car isn't gonna last forever. Yeah, I know, man. This ice cream's gonna melt before we know it. The group couldn't find any safe shelters, but was able to cobble together a campsite. Weather's terrible all night. Rick's morale decreases. Thank goodness for great morale. All right. We have plenty of food. We need to find a trading camp, man. We need to trade some of this. Uh... The group finds a strange repeating message on the radio. It's a series of short bursts of music, deep spoken numbers, and a haunting slide whistle noise. There's also a kazoo in there. What could it mean? Um, let's decipher the message. The team puts their heads together to figure out the code. The message warns them that the base has been abandoned, but they hid a stash of ammo to help other survivors. The stash turns out to be nearby. Our morale increases yet a friggin' again. And we get some ammo. Jacqueline's wits are revealed. Not too witty. Surprising how long a burger or a hot dog takes to get bad. It is surprising. The group drives into a new city. Noises from the car have already started to draw attention from the undead. Thick and irritated in the morning. Um, let's. We already just did an arcade. So let's go to a grocery store today. Uh, I'm going to test out our gun here. All right. Uh, auto shotgun. Holy crap. Let's test it. Let's see what we got. And I'm going to give myself a, like, fast melee weapon. There we go. All right, let's see if this uh, shotgun works. Let's go. Let's boogie. Nope. Shotgun totally doesn't work. So I cannot use the shotgun, which makes sense. Oh, it's Foodie Myers. Let's go to Foodie Myers. All right, everybody. Keep your wits about you. I know, Jacqueline, your wits aren't very good, but that's just a figure of speech, right? Just, just saying, keep your head on a swivel. And don't be eaten by zombies, okay? Because that would be the worst. Let's just clear out some of these zombies before we go inside. I don't want them sneaking up behind us. That would be terrible. It is a thick horde, though, so this may be difficult. Okay. There we go. I should give Jacqueline the auto shotgun, honestly. Knowing that she can use a friggin' gun is pretty amazing. I'm gonna use my hatchet. Fast, lightweight weapon. Oh, okay, let's not get stuck there. That would be the worst. Let's go down and around. Down and around to zombie town. Okay, now we can probably get inside without too much hassle from these zombies. Thank you, guys. Okay, whoa, zombie right there. Oh, no, God. Oh, God, that was too close. Okay. Food, yep. Another cheeseburger for the cheeseburger collection. And there's just food everywhere. But like I've been saying for like the last 10 minutes, medical supplies would be a welcome addition to our growing collection of goodies. Really like some medical supplies. All right, we got to get out of here. We're getting back into a corner. And nobody backs dis up in Jacqueline into a corner. Come on, guys. Oh, is that a box? Yeah, it is. Okay, bullets. Not medical supplies. It's only 10.50 a.m., though. Oh, God! Okay, back up, back up, back up. Lots of zombies coming in from outside. We'll do one more lap. Here, I'm just gonna chill here for a second. Catch my breath. <sighs> your trace can't use shotgun, my dude. Thank you, rare under your chair. I'm gonna check that out. I just need to take a better look at my stats. Thank you for pointing that out. Let's uh, get the heck out of here. Okay, there's more to, uh, to search in this town, so let's keep on searching. And... Ooh, there's something in there. Let's check it out. What do we got? Bullets, bullets, bullets. And up here. Okay, nothing in there. Nothing to see there, guys. Go away. What do we got down here, though? Food, 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 food for days. Gas. Oh, medical kit. Perfect.
All right, there's still more to explore. I have a feeling that we're going to find some more medical supplies in this place. This place seems like the kind of place that would stash some medical supplies somewhere. I don't know why. It's just a feeling. It's just a feeling I have. My feelings are only wrong some of the time. No, no, search it. Can I not search it? Is there not any... Oh, I guess there's nothing in this. Totally thought there was. Is that the only other door this place has? I guess it is. Okay, well... <laughs> I was wrong! There were no more medical supplies. That was just wishful thinking. Like, literally, the most wishful thinking. Uh, what about this house? Right on the edge of town. Sit down! Uh, okay, we got a shelf here. Bullets. Come on, medical supplies. Hello, zombies. Goodbye, zombies. Still a couple doors left to search, and it's still early in the afternoon, so we've got time. Come on, open it. Bullets in the fridge! Do shotgun shells work better when they're cold? I don't know. Probably not. That's ridiculous, right? you think they'd work better when they're hot. So you stick them in the oven. That's why you stick bullet shells in the oven. Everybody knows that. Um, ooh, okay. This place looks pretty big. What do we got here? Uh, more foods? Nothing in there. Hatchet. Hatchet. Okay, good job. Let's go, guys. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was getting a little bit too cocky there. Getting a little too cocky. Nothing in here. Turn back. Oh, God. That was way too close. I would have been so bummed out if I lost Rick. I might have shed a tear on stream. Oh, God. <sighs> getting too tired, man. This claymore is a blessing and a curse. Such a tough weapon. But makes me so tired. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. We killed a lot of zombies. Okay, let's not press our luck. Uh, let's go. Let's go. We've done a really good job, guys. Let's get the heck out of here. Go! All right. Whew. Okay. 12 food. Only one medical kit, which I'm going to end up using, so that's a wash. But lots of bullets. 115 zombies destroyed, though. World's a little bit safer. Actually, some powders burn better when they're chilled. Oh, I know Longshot is one of those. Ping Hazard, thanks for dropping the knowledge. The group is sitting around a campfire. Finding this campsite was rough, so they're getting in a bad mood. The group eats a distant meal. Um, let's plan out tomorrow. Or Wait, should we sing a song? Plan out tomorrow. I feel like... Let's sing a song. Cheer us up. Actually, our morale's pretty good. Let's plan on tomorrow. Going back and forth here. Rick plans on the next day. It's a good use of time and helps them focus on the big picture. All right, that works. Uh, everyone's healthy again. Running low on gas. But the group finds an isolated car garage. The sign says Master Tuners. They find some gas and lots of spare parts in good condition. Perfecto. Car repair and tune-up or repair and fine-tune the car for three days. Um, wait, if I fine-tune it for three days, does that mean that... I'm three days closer to Canada? Probably not. It's just car repair tune-up. Rick tries to repair the car in the hope it goes a little further before taking breaking down. He has no idea what he's doing and wastes days time pretending to work in the car. The car has seen better days. The car looks all beat up, but still sturdy. Okay, so... Um, good job, Rick, at pretending to know what you were doing. An enormous army of undead shambles around the carnage that surrounds the border to Canada. Many have tried to get through. Most only succeed in having their bodies added to the horde. Maybe your team will be different. This is the last chance to trade. Good luck. You have 86 food. This is it, guys. We are so close. So close. Okay. We're going to visit this trader camp. We have so much food to trade. Oh, and all these people are taking food, aren't they? The group sees a woman standing near a stockpile of crates. The crates seem to contain a large amount of... No, she's giving food. Uh, obviously, I don't want that. Let's take a look at our stats, actually. Because you guys were just saying... It says... Uh, let's see. Holding Claymore... Okay, but as far as what I can and can't use... Does it... 
You said that it says I can't use shotguns. Um, covered in dirt, former roller derby champion, is the star of a very popular game that I can't see the title of. Uh, okay, we'll check that out later. Um, before we equip ourselves. There's gotta be other people. Here we go, to trade with. Here, what do you got? This man is selling anime and anime accessories from a converted food truck. I'm doing my part to keep civilization together one anime sale at a time. Um, should I buy an anime figurine or Windstar for 15 food? What would this do? Um, I have the food to spare. Let's see what it does. The group buys a gigantic throwing star. This is the official Windstar used in the live action version of the Windstar anime. Excellent choice. Um, let's see. Yeah, I could probably recruit somebody else. Who's this? I always knew the zombie apocalypse would happen. Uh, what about you? Are you recruitable? If I could only find a suit of plate armor. Yeah, that would be amazing. Oh, what about you, pirate lady? This woman's a pirate. At least that's what you assume due to the peg leg, eye patch, cutlass, clothing, and hat. Yar! This checks out. She offers to sell the group a cannon for five food or join them for 20. Are you kidding me? Yes. Recruit her for 20 food. We have it. Yar! She sounds enthusiastic. Captain shooting revealed. Not good, but the fitness is great and the strength is great too. All right, we've got our fourth member and she's a pirate. I love it. Great choice. Uh, what else do we have here? The group sees a gruff man near an ice cream truck uh, selling shotgun shells. Uh, I think that we have plenty, so that's fine. We haven't been using guns at all. And what do you got? A particularly intense looking woman offers to sell you a spare weapon. I can only carry the best stuff. She starts her chainsaw and revs it a few times. Emphasizes, uh, let's see. I have 51 food. I could buy a flamethrower for 40. Oh my God. <laughs> it is Captain Tuna. Captain Thunder Tuna joins the group. I love it. And how did they get the ice cream truck in there? I will never know. Uh, flamethrower for 40 food. Let's definitely do that. The group buys a flamethrower. Try not to shoot your team members with it. Looks great on you. Dude, we have, I'm so glad we had all that food. So now we have a giant anime star, um, a pirate, and a flamethrower. Leticia almost made it to Canada. She got as far as the city of Crushed Hopes where the rest of her group was eaten. She offers to join you. No. Sorry, Leticia. We have a pirate. Don't need you. Good luck, though. Hope you make it to Canada someday. Uh, I think we're good. I think we're friggin' good, guys. Let's go. Let's go. If this group can't make it to Canada, I don't know who can. Let's go. I'm gonna floor it. All right. Uh... The giant armies of undead perpetually lurch around the Canadian border, unable to cross. The group gets caught up in a lesser swarm before they can find a safe camp. Overwhelming. We have to survive for 1.5 hours. We're going to seek shelter in the cabin. Oh, boy. Okay. Captain. Holy crap. She's got the cannon. She's got the friggin' cannon. Holy crap. This is going to be incredible. Um, I'm going to go ahead and equip the flamethrower for myself. Hopefully I can use that. Uh, Jacqueline, you've got... And then we have the Wind Shuriken. I'm gonna save that. God, I really hope I don't blow this. Hour and a half is a long time. But let's go. Let's go. Alright, guys. We gotta get into this place. Good job. Let's survive out here as long as we can. Before we have to head inside. I don't want to head inside to a friggin' death trap. Until I absolutely need to. Good job. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Too windy to swing my sword. Oh god, okay. Oh god, oh no! Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay, switch weapons, man. Switch weapons, Rick! Switch weapons! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Come on, this way, guys. Oh, for the love of God! I'm so winded, I can't switch weapons. Come on, switch weapons. Oh, God, who did we just lose? Jacqueline? And it turns out I can't use... Get inside! Where are they? 
Oh god. Get inside, pirate lady! Oh dear god. This is stressing me out too much. Stressing me out too damn much. Oh dear god. Okay. Jacqueline's officially dead. I can't use the flamethrower. Apparently it's considered a gun. I don't want to get stuck in that small room. That would be the end of me. Oh dear God, this sucks so bad. Come on, guys. We're going to have to get over. Okay, there we go. We can escape. We're going to have to get behind this fridge. Come on. Oh, dear God. Oh, come on. Come on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Please, God, no. No, no, no. Please, please. Oh, God, she's gonna die. She's gonna die. No, she didn't die. Oh, my freaking God. Are you kidding me? Oh, this game. I hate it so much sometimes. Oh, God, I hate this game sometimes. Oh, my God. <sighs> Let's go. We still have the captain, though. That sucked so bad. I really wish I had that flamethrower. Captain feels inspired after managing to survive, though, so that's good. She feels like she's getting the hang of this. Choose a reward. Oh, my God. Um, her strength is pretty good. Her shooting, not so much. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, shooting's lousy. I say let's give her shooting. How about that? Getting used to these zombies makes her steadier aim. Captain shooting increases. And my zombie points are full. Okay. Here we go. I was trying to get behind that fridge, by the way, in there, and I just couldn't get behind it. Captain prepares for the brutal day ahead of her. Canada is closed, but the zombie forecast is bad. She eats a decent meal. Let's go. Captain six, dexterity increased. That's amazing. Nearly at the border to Canada, Captain is surrounded by seemingly endless and dead. To survive, she must face one last siege. This is what I'm talking about, guys. A four-hour siege. Are you kidding me? You have to undergo three sieges before the final Canadian siege. Well, two sieges and then the third being the Canadian siege. Okay, let's go. Okay. Let's go. This is gonna suck bad. Let's try out her new, her other weapon. There, oh, that is amazing. That's pretty incredible. Uh, so it sucks that there's only me, but on the plus side, at least I don't have to worry about keeping somebody else alive. Let's try this cannon. Cannon's pretty cool. But I feel like it could be cooler. I feel like it'd be tougher. Okay, so what I'm gonna need to do is just keep kiting these zombies in a tight circle. I hate that they keep coming out of the ground, though. Oh, God. Okay. Just keep on kiting them. Oh, God. That's not the way I want to go. That's a dead end. Okay. I'm going to go up this way. Not before kiting them a little bit more. It said 4.5 hours, didn't it? Which is crazy to me. All right, still alive, still fighting. Let's just keep on doing it, okay? As long as we can keep this rhythm going, I feel like we could survive. Oh my God, look at these guys though. Look at all of them, holy butts, holy butts indeed. Okay. Keep on killing them while I can. Okay, there we go. Oh, God. Get away. Get away. Oh, God. I want to save some of these cannonballs, I guess. When I finally get to Canada. Okay, okay. How long has it been? I feel like it's been like three hours. What was it? Noon when I first got here? I think it was about that. These zombies are getting thick and agitated, though. I think if I do one more pass, hopefully that'll be it. Luckily, I have a new path I can go here. 
Okay. I'm just gonna try to kite them over here while I can. Spend a little bit of extra time over here. Okay. Now, let's go this way. Let's do this one more time. Okay, keep our composure. Calm and cool. Cool heads prevail. Gonna go back around, down to the bottom. Oh my god, they are so thick. So thick and hungry. Oh, but we're staying alive. Okay, it's now four o'clock. I'm pretty sure I got here at noon. I'm pretty sure, I'm not positive. Things are looking okay, 410. Oh, okay, 415. 20 for 25 keep running keep running 430 okay apparently it wasn't noon when I got here that's fine oh crap got caught on the corner of a building there come on come on come on come on come on this game should just be called kiting simulator 2018 Okay, okay, here we go. Gonna kite them up this way a little bit. Try to pull them up here. Okay, so, hopefully I hear a one. Okay, there it is! Oh, thank goodness, we made it! Let's make our escape! Exit, yes! Oh, thank goodness! Oh, thank goodness! All right! We survived. The last test, guys, is Canada. Just Canada. It's just me and the captain. Let's make this happen. Got enough food. Okay, I don't have enough medical supplies. That's but I could really use one more medical supply, but you know what? That's fine. We'll survive this. The border of Canada is just to the north of here. Captain must cross the bridge and then reach the fort that serves as the checkpoint right outside of Canada. This is the final challenge. They're packed like sardines. They are mega cheesed. It's nightfall. God, okay, I'm gonna keep this cannon, obviously, but I feel like I should have something else. Um, this auto shotgun, we have a lot of shotgun shells for this. So let's take the auto shotgun. We have this cannon, which I can't swap out. And then we have my sword, which I also can't swap out. <sighs> I don't have a flashlight, which is gonna suck. Uh, but screw it. I didn't take the shotgun. <sighs> let's go. Oh god, okay, that's not a path. Oh god, nope. Let's not die right off the bat. There we go, there we go. Oh, nice. We found our path in. Get out of the way. We'll use this cannon until we can't use this cannon no more. The cannon is great for clearing paths, which is pretty amazing. So we'll just keep clearing paths with the cannon. Oh god, oh god, nope, no, 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 no. Nope, 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 oh, okay. Whoa, that was too close. That was entirely too close. <sighs> Onward, forward, ever forward, ever forward. Okay, okay, oh dear god. Nope, 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 oh, ow, oh god. Okay. Making our way into the snow. So far, it's looking good. Okay, come on. Come on, oh, it's getting eaten water. It's a moose. It's a moose. Oh, okay. Let's go. Help me, Mr. Mounties. Help me. Please, save me. Save the captain. It's a boot time. Okay, it is a boot time. Oh dear God. Oh my God, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Come on. Keep me alive. Keep me alive, Mr. Mounties. Come on. Keep me alive. Let's keep firing this gun. Oh, what is that? Oh my goodness. Let me take care of you. Yes, please. Please, Robo Mountie. Save us. Oh my goodness. He's killing them all. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing this. Oh, thank goodness. 
Oh, thank goodness. Oh, it's happened. It has happened. Canadian saved the day. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, my new home. I love you guys. Morph? What's your favorite tube color? Oh, <laughs> you guys are so delightful. Here, wipe that gunk off you with this serviette. That means napkin in French. Oh, we've done it. You've got a can-do attitude, eh? Congrats on making it to Canada. The prime minister himself makes captain an honorary citizen of Canada. He welcomes her to the last remaining nation on earth. Zombo points are full. Onward to Canada. We've done it. We've made it to Canada. Thank goodness. Cannonball beat the game with pirate. Uh, bunch of weirdos beat rare characters mode. Oh man, we've done it y'all. I can't believe it. You won exactly one Canada. I have won exactly one Canada. Thank you, Brian J. Thank you, Kyra Wolf. Oh, thank you guys. Couldn't have done it without your support. Oh, lots of interesting people around the death road. What became of her in Canada? Ah, uh, yar. Captain built a pirate ship and became the terror of Lake Ontario. Thank you for playing Death Road to Canada. It's been a pleasure. I hope you got an OP character. Oh man, we got some really good characters in that playthrough, guys. I am so happy that we beat it. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be excited to play it again, though, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Uh, I really enjoyed playing with you guys. Uh, holy moly, holy butts. Let's take a sip of my coffee to calm down. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I would love to play another playthrough. Before I do, let's check out the unlocks. Alright? Because I've got all of these zombo points. Where's this chicken? Some kind of blue bird.